guys, what's up? It's Bex, and I'm back with another video. So for today's video, in honor of the Super Bowl, I'm gonna be doing one side one team, one side the other. And that way we can maybe, you know, take votes on who we think is gonna win for the Super Bowl. I'm really excited about it, I love the Super Bowl. Although the commercials the last few years have just been kind of eh, not hitting the mark. But either way, I'm excited to watch the game with my friends and of course, good food and what's not to love. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. First things first, you know that we have got to clip this hair back, get it out of the face. So I've been working crazy hours at my job, working overnights, basically working midnight to 6 a.m. and I am beat, so my hair is, my hair is something else, y'all. So I'm gonna put underneath my eyes the Super Bloom Bright Eyes Peptide Cream. And I'm going to be using these reusable under eye masks from Apreise. Do you love how I have this one surviving nail left? I need to go get my nails done. But again, just working this weird, crazy schedule that I've been working, it's been, it's been really hard. So I'm gonna put a little bit more than normal just because I really want it to soak in hydrate the under eyes. Hopefully my skin behaves. I did have my second round of micro needling with my girl Annie. Just put it on like this. I love going and getting my lashes filled from Annie because she actually uses things like this and it feels so good on my skin. I always leave getting my lashes filled from her having incredible skin and bomb lashes. I'm just making sure we didn't get anything. We didn't get it on the lash line. So the two palettes that we're gonna be using today is going to be Blood Sugar, as well as the P. Louise Taste. All right, and of course, you know that we're gonna go right on in with our P. Louise Base. This one is in the shade Zero, Rumor Zero. I'm gonna do that color just because we're gonna be doing more of colors like red and maroon that I just want to bring more towards the forefront. Going in with our Morphe flat brush. And we're gonna go in with a super fluffy brush and this shade here. Going with the NYX, this is the Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Cool Ash Brown. And voila! Now for the Kansas City Chief side, we are going to go in with the shade gonna take a really nice fluffy brush don't be afraid to put some color on it just really pack it in there we want some of this really good color payoff next we're gonna go in with with some cherry soda a little bit more in the crease. We're going to use the shade cake mix, which is right here. And just diffuse it a little bit. And again, I want a little bit more cherry soda. 
liking that more in the crease. Going back in with that fluffy brush that we first used, just marrying them together and diffusing. What did you guys think of my last videos of those unboxing videos? What did you guys think? Were you excited? Were you interested in what I got? Tell me below. And now with this super dense but still fluffy brush, we're gonna go in with the shade Glucose. Now because the Chiefs have white, we're just gonna, just like that. But then going in with that fluffy brush and just wiping off that white. Now I'm not quite sure if I want to use from Jeffree Star's Thirsty palette. This yellow here, I think it's too banana-y yellow. I don't think it's the Kansas City Chiefs yellow. I might use a little bit of this gold from Makeup Forever. I don't even know what the shade is because I've had it forever and it is wiped off. So we're going to go back in with that brush that has a little bit of the base still on it. We're going to want to put this gold just like such. It's actually turning out really nice, this yellowish gold color. Which is pretty interesting because I used this color one year when I was Queen Bee. So I did like a gold smoky look for my Halloween costume. And then going in again with that really fluffy brush and just blending out any harsh edges. And then we're going to take it and just put a little bit down here doesn't have to be perfect because we will be cleaning that up here in a bit. All right, now for the 49ers, we're going to go in with the Taste Palette. So they're more of a burgundy, white, black, and gold, but it's more of like a deeper, like old gold. Hey guys, post editing Bex here. For some reason, the audio just stop working here in this section so I apologize in advance for this but I couldn't refilm a video so just showing you which colors I am using obviously I'm using a mix of the two just to kind of make more of a burgundy red look going back over of course we're gonna put some more base down just so that way when we set the gold eyeshadow it really pops as you can see you just use your finger pat it back in and then of course fluffy brush to marry both of them we're gonna clean this up by putting some under eye cream and just wiping away without really tugging too much. But just cleaning up all of that glitter and shimmer. But of course, gotta comb out my lashes. So because of the micro needling that I just had done, I could still tell that my face needs a little bit more um, time to adjust and renew itself. So we're not gonna put any foundation on today. However, we will be putting on some blush and other things of that nature. We're gonna be going in with the Wander Beauty, the Mile High Club. So if you guys did enjoy my videos that I did for the unboxing, which put them right here so you guys can go check it out. I did those with my boyfriend 
and we had more videos planned it was gonna be really great however he decided on my birthday while he was coming out to surprise me to meet a girl in the airport and got her number while he was there at the airport bar so he decided that he no longer wanted to be in a relationship with me and told me told, told me via text message broke up with me and then told me over the phone and then proceeded to tell me about this girl and said that he was interested in pursuing something with her um, because he just and he got her number because he didn't feel committed to me even though he was out here uh, flying out here to come see me for a uh, birthday surprise so you guys will no longer be seeing him in any videos and just wanted to be transparent with you guys I this is the first time I filmed a video since the Beautylish boxes that we filmed together just because it's it has been a little difficult however I'm getting through it and 2024 is gonna be a wonderful year with you guys and I'm excited to see where it takes us we're gonna go in with the P Louise blush this is called the cheek of it so what I love about this is it has the cutest little applicator and we're gonna use the P Louise brush this is the E oh, I'm sorry this is the F. F40. Now we're going to be going in with the Chanel. This is the no, Hillary Duff, oddly enough, turned me onto this. And I just like it because it warms up my face just a little bit. Doesn't make it look too muddy. And I was like putting a little on the side of my nose and down it just a little bit. And I do like the way it smells. Now I'm gonna marry these together a little bit down here. Now we are gonna go in with the P. Louise. I'm gonna buff it in with one of these bad boys. And what is nice is a little goes a long way this bad boy as you can see just need my finger a little bit more than anticipated down the bridge Cupid bow Because this is a little so bright I'm gonna just diff diffuse it with the blush brush that we used just to make it look more natural as natural can be <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury this is in the shade pillow talk no lip liner today feeling just a bit, little bit of a neutral a neutral lip with this look all right so I'm thinking this look is done so again the Kansas City Chiefs and the 49ers so I'm gonna go do my hair real quick and pop back in and give some final thoughts on what I think about this makeup look all right I am back did my hair so that way I can put the whole look together you know and I love a good curl moment uh, but what do you guys think? Again, Kansas City Chiefs or the 49ers? Which one do you think? All right, so we're going to go with number one, Kansas City Chiefs, who I think are going to win. 
And then number two is gonna be the 49ers. So in the comments below, be sure to comment which number is your vote for who you think is gonna win. And I'm going to randomly pull a winner to go get some coffee on me. And who knows, I might be feeling super giving because I'm in, <laughs> I'm in my single girl era now. So there might be more than one winner. I might be just feeling so generous. You never know. But thanks for popping by, guys. I'm absolutely loving this. I'm excited about, um, I'm going to dinner with my friend right now. So I'm gonna see what she thinks, what she likes about it. And this is no foundation, which for my skin still feeling really dry from the micro needling, my skin looks really great. That's like fabulous, guys. <laughs> Actually, let's zoom on in before. As you can see, micro needling helps with the pores. I don't feel like my pores are as big as normal. And here's a little bit closer look of the eye look. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Can, can you two stop? Can you two stop? Why are you making that weird noise? Boys, stop it. Stop. <gasps> no! But I love the Super Bowl. Although the commercials the last few years have just been kind of eh, not hitting the mark. But either way, can you knock it off, boys? Hey, hey, no, we're not gonna have this while I'm filming. Hey, knock it off while I'm filming, please. Get in here. No.